I'm Beth, I'm from Craft Cellar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the projects from the upcycling calendar that comes free with issue 17 of the magazine. So we're going to be using some upcycled jars today to make tea and coffee caddies for your kitchen. So first of all, here's our jar. Now what I'm going to be doing is painting some blackboard paint onto the front of it and then you can write whatever you like on the blackboard paint with some chalk and you can change that as often as you like. So first things first, let's mark out the shape that we're going to make. So get a strip of masking tape. This doesn't really have to be particularly carefully worked out. Well, as long as it is longer than the shape you're trying to create. I'm just going to do a simple square shape here because that's roughly the shape of the jar that I'm working with. If you've got a bigger surface to work on, which we're going to be doing later, you can do a more elaborate shape. So just one more bit to go on. I'm just going to turn it around to do that one so I can see where it goes. our first shape. So our next job is now to fill in this square with blackboard paint. Now you should be able to get this from most hardware stores and it is very similar to the stuff that we used to have at school and it will allow you to customise your jars with ease. So I've given it a quick stir which is what the instructions said. Now I don't want too much paint on my brush I'm just going to paint within the lines that I've made with the masking tape. Now, my paint should dry within half an hour, but make sure you read the instructions on your paint before you start to write all over it with chalk. So I'm going to put that to one side now. Now that we've painted that one, I'm going to show you what it should look like once the paint is dry and you have peeled off your masking tape. So on this one, I used a slightly less equal shape uh, just to add a little bit of interest. And once I'd peeled off all the masking tape, I just needed to neaten up the edges a little bit and there we go. And we've filled this one with tea bags. So on the front, Guess what? I'll be writing tea. Okay, I haven't written on a chalkboard in quite a long time, so I'm being relatively careful. But the beauty is, if it doesn't work, I can wipe it off and start again. Now, because the idea is that you're going to be selling these, it might be worth selling an offcut of a sponge or a small bit of cloth. You could even embroider with your company name your customers can use for when they want to change their label. And there we go. Now another idea, if you've got a jar which isn't quite as pretty as our lovely Kilner jars and has writing all over the lid, you can use the same blackboard paint to decorate the, well, to cover the lid and then write on here instead. Should we have tea again? Let's have a nice cup of tea. There you go. Another technique which you could try is to use a template like this one. So just draw a simple shape onto a piece of paper, like I've drawn this flower shape here which might suit customers that have a more traditional kitchen, and then blue tack it to the inside of the jar. Now I've been doing quite a lot of painting recently, so I feel like I've got my, my hand in. But if you want to practice, especially if you've got new paint brushes, so that your work is nice and neat, that's a good idea as well. I'm just carefully working my way around the outline. I'm sure if there are any real artists watching me, my technique is awful, but it does the job. You don't necessarily need to sell it for you 
space in the kitchen. This could be in a little girl's bedroom full of her crayons, for instance. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching this how-to video. I hope you enjoy making your kitchen caddies. And make sure you send us lots of photos of how you get on with the project. Don't forget to pick up issue 17 of Craft Cellar, which is on sale on the 23rd of October and comes with a free calendar full of seasonal makes and ideas. See you next time.